When conversations about child marriages began earlier this year, the Coalition to End Child Marriages was formed. Six months later, the group is reigniting the fire under the issue as they continue to wait on government to make the necessary adjustments to the law. Janine Brown has more in this report. A representative for the Coalition to End Child Marriages, Stephanie Leach, says the group intends to stage a protest before the closing of Parliament next week to speak face-to-face -face with those in power on the issue. Given that the AG promised that the bill would be laid by the end of October, we realize that there's a need to amp up our action. <laughs> so we plan to be um, outside of Parliament next week, Wednesday, while the coalition's main goal is to see all four marriage acts in this country having the same rule, that is, only being for those 18 years and over, Ms. Leach says they're also lobbying for an age of exception. But she explains this must only be considered under specific circumstances. So that is with the consent of both living parents that the children should be no more than three years of age apart which is in line with the Romeo Clause of the, the consent between minors, um, that there should be a review of a judge of the family and children's court, and that there should be counseling of the individuals. She says she's pleased with efforts made by the Attorney General to have consultations on the matter, but hopes the dialogue will in fact contribute to the final decision. You know, he has been saying that he's interested in consultations and has held two consultations. In fact, it's one of his key pillars to the, con the construction of this new bill. Um, but the coalition is not interested in consultation in a tokenistic fashion. And we have, in fact, outlined many key areas of the policy that we would like to see reflected. Noting that conversations on the issue have progressed in recent years, particularly in 2016, she adds all that's needed now is for government to make the final decision. Janine Brown, CNews.